Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to Total War Free Kingdom. Today we're going to go ahead and play something a little bit different. I wanted to dive in and check out some of the historical battles in the game because I believe there's about six or seven of them and historical battles don't normally get as much love as they deserve as they're actually really, really fun to play and they have cool cutscenes at the beginning. So let's go ahead and jump in. If you guys are looking to pre-order Total War Free Kingdoms, then you can go ahead and use my link down below in the description. It will take you to Games Planet, who work directly with publishers such as Sega. I believe at the moment the game is currently 16% off if you use my special code. It's a great way to help support the channel. Unfortunately, the game is only available in Europe. However, if you are in Europe, as I said, it's a great way to support the channel. So yes, the battle I wanted to play in particular is the Battle of Redcliffe, which is probably one of the most famous battles from the Three Kingdoms period. We are playing as Sun Quan and we are going up against Cao Cao. It should be really fun because I have no idea what to expect. Obviously, I know how the battle went, but I have no idea what to expect in game. And it'll be really, really exciting to see this battle unfold uh, beneath our eyes. And I also know that there are cool cutscenes as well. And if you guys want to see more of these historical battles, as you can see, there are an absolute ton of them. Uh, do just let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to go ahead and dive in and play some more battles. You can see just all these battles have Sao Sao in. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, let's just jump in, see what this battle has in store for us, and hopefully win it. If we end up losing it, we end up losing it. I'm not going to do multiple tries or anything. It's just going to be the whatever happens, happens. Set. The winds favor you. Flames rise to the heavens, a portent of hope. You are still outnumbered, however. But brave Southlanders are born on the water and worth ten of Cao Cao's northern curs. Keep it off. Strike quickly before they can retreat and rally. Show Cao Cao there is no place for his duplicity here. Indeed. So there'll be a cool cutscene playing now, and then we'll be just straight into the action. I might go ahead and stick it on pause as soon as the game starts. Um, just so we can kind of take stock of what the hell's going on. Um, also, the graphics are absolutely amazing here. I love the uh, the lighting. Duke it's Liang really, has really predicted cool. the wind would turn, and it has. The perfect time to strike is now. We must not waste this chance. Here we go, the famous fire the ships. ships approaching Tao Tao's navy are not surrendering as he thought. Although he sees that, he cannot stop the events in motion now. When the fire ships collide, we will begin our attack in the ensuing chaos. Tao Tao must be stopped here, or his campaign of conquest will consume all of China. For the people now, we will stop him. Zhou Yu will land his forces on the beach and attack Tao Tao's camp directly, whilst my brothers and I will charge in on the flank. So let's go ahead and stick that pause button really quickly just so we can take stock of what's going down. Also, it's a real shame that naval battles aren't in Total War Three Kingdoms. I understand it would have been pretty hard to do because the, there's like only like two major rivers going through China. But still, it would have been great to have like units pre-existing with transports that kind of evolve into this. Because you have the ships right here and maybe we're just going to have to wait for mods or something to stick it in. Um, but either way, the, the map itself does look really, really cool. I, I dig this a lot. Um, um, and by the looks of it, we have to just push our way up the fortifications through Cao Cao's camp and then, I guess, cut the head off the snake at the top. He'll probably try and flee away. We have Lu Bei. Yeah, we have Lu Bei moving in with his retinue over on this right-hand side. We have Spearman. We have uh, so, you know, Crossbowman, Repeater Crossbowman. Some really good cavalry as well, which we're going to have to be using effectively. We've got Zhao Yun over here as well, leading a force on the left-hand side, getting ready to cross the bridge and then charge in. I mean, obviously, we're in the center right here. So, uh, yeah, let's just get kick this bad boy off. Um, I guess we'll just send up command so that everyone's going to push in. Uh, and then we'll see what we can get done. It's going to be a pretty messy battle, honestly, I think. But it should be pretty fun uh, to see what we can get done. I guess we'll set these crossbows as well. 
to start hitting with defenders. I mean, let's just kick this bad boy off. We might play on slow-mo just for the beginning, because uh, to see what the enemy have in store for us. But I think our most important thing is to actually clear out these archers right away. Uh, so let's go and take both of our bowmen uh, and shoot them. And do we have any bowmen in this side? We do, yeah. We have bowmen right here and here. So let's get these bowmen. We want to hit their archers as much as we can. Lube needs to chill out a little bit. Yeah, all my heroes need to chill. I don't want these guys, you know, kind of being thrown to their death. But we can probably charge around this left-hand side. And then maybe try and hit into some of their... Some of their cavalry. Yeah, let's try and take out this cavalry. We'll bring over our own cavalry on this side. And we'll do a nice little bit of slow-mo here as well. And I'm sure, what commanders do we have? So, are you a... You're a commander... So you have some pretty good bonuses to, like, rallying the soldiers, yeah. Um, you're, you're a strategist, and then you're another commander as well. Oh, God, Lu Bei is actually already engaging there. Okay, let's go ahead and send some dudes over there. We've just smashed into their battle line as well. You can see one of their generals right there. Zhao Yun, I think Zhao Yun, something like that. Sorry, the, 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 the XUs and the ZHs kind of I struggle a little bit with when it comes to uh, pronunciation, but I'm definitely getting there. You guys have told me and you've been, you've been really useful uh, just letting me know all the different names for all the, like how to pronounce stuff and it's been very useful. So keep that advice coming. Eventually it will just stick. So let's charge in our cavalry uh, to go ahead and support our, our general fighting in the center. Yeah, taking out this guy is going to be very hard. Hopefully our crossbows are going to be peppering. Uh, but God damn, these crossbows have a really bad range. But let's try and sneak some cavalry through. You guys can engage that. We just want both of these crossbows to be smashing that general. Liu Bei is busy right now. Where did our cavalry go over here? Oh, it's right there, yeah. Uh, no issue, reinforce there. This side is still just moving up, which is fine. And our archers are now hitting hard, which is good. Um, you guys should all be running, though. We need to just get infantry up here as hard and fast as physically possible because we could run out of men at any time, and that would not be good. We also need to try and meet up with all of our soldiers as well. Um, so let's get a spearman stuck in there. You guys do not get stuck, please. And good, our crossbows are now hitting their missiles, which is really important. I mean, as soon as this is done, we should be able to move on. And basically just get make our way off of the beaches. That's the most important thing. It's just getting off of the beaches and onto the settlement. Seems like our cavalry is doing a pretty good job against their cavalry. The infantry fight is going uh, on pretty well. And we have some really good infantry. I mean, yeah, look at these axemen as well. The mercenary infantry axemen seem very effective at smashing them. And the infantry line has now formed up. It seems like we have a lot of extra space over on this side. Which is great. And we have a good strategist. And now their archers have been broken there. Which is good. Let's bring up the rest of our archers. You guys can push up as well. Mm, is there anything else in particular you want to try and hit? I guess we can just try and hit infantry. Or just hold our fire actually. Oh no. Break these towers down. Yeah please. Let's go fire arrows. And let's destroy these towers. Because the towers will really hurt my infantry line. And let's start pumping off some abilities as well. So missile block on everyone. And we'll rally everyone up as well. Yeah that seems like a good enough plan. How are we doing over on this side as well? The archers, the crossbows are taking... Oh, god damn, that's so bad of me. That's really bad of me. Let's get some more spearmen over into the center. We've uh, smashed them here, so the cavalry should have free reign. That's good. The archers are burning with towers. Good. Make sure you burn all the towers, because I really don't want to have to deal with them. Elite dragons go up. You guys move around. And then, yeah, you guys get ready to burn the towers as we further our, our kind of campaign. You guys are in range here. Yeah. Archers just come back now. Make sure you're off fire at will. I don't want to waste my ammunition. We've got Lu Bei coming up. The cavalry is going to be rinsing that. The spearmen are still fighting, but it's all good. She crossbows get up and start helping over here. Archers are out by themselves. Yeah, definitely charge in and get them archers. Our cavalry is definitely struggling a little bit here. I'm not going to lie. But we basically clean them up here. Let's get some more cavalry around the side. Sorry, my micro is being absolutely appalling right now. We, we desperately need to win this position, though. Um, and probably helps if we get our strategists. Like, just, 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 just get our generals over here. Archers can hold fire now. Lu Bei can come over and help out. I mean, now we've got crossbows coming in the side as well. That's going to be perfect. Get the crossbows in. Start to killing these axes. Cavalry is going to come in as well and help out. Yeah, our cavalry's about to absolutely That's mince them. Ready. And look at this right here in the center. We've completely surrounded this unit. And we have these awesome glaive infantrymen as well. The pearl dragons. They don't look very heavily armored, but I imagine they're like really, really skilled with a glaive. 
and they're going to be cutting them down. It's perfect. That will hopefully allow us to move up the rest of our infantry. And I guess whilst that's going on, we'll push up these archers to the left-hand side, continue to burn down more and more of this territory. And yeah, let's just charge in and finish this bad boy off. As I said, the heroes are going to be my hardest, probably my hardest foe to take care of. Just because we don't really have a way of like slaughtering them. But with, the, uh, with all the cavalry coming in, I'm hoping we'll just be able to create a pretty big break in the, uh, in the enemy formation. And we'll, we'll go ahead and pop this bonus as well. Inspiring words by Lu Bei. That should help out. Um, and I'm just looking to kind of kill everyone. Kill the infantrymen. And then use that to our advantage so that we can break down. So it's going to be a huge inspiring words on everyone. Um, and then we'll also pop this debuff as well. One of their lords as well. Probably this guy. Because he's uh, stuck in. Oh, is that an AoE buff? Oh, wow. That's an AoE buff. That is huge. I want to make sure my archers don't get involved there. But yeah, let the crossbows continue just to, to smash them. And we'll bring up more spearmen as well to help out. Have we broken them over here yet? No, they're still holding down a large portion of my force there. And we'll get the archers to fire arrow this area as well. Make sure all these towers are burning before we push up. We need this battle to go in our favor. No more reinforcements, well, unfortunately, right now. Yeah, I don't know. Is it worth dueling right now? I'm mean, probably not right because we've kind of taken the harder, harder part of that duel. And we've got Spearman coming to save our crossbows, which is good. The cavalry should be killing the rest of them. You guys are duking it out, which is fine. Our archers are up here. Yeah, archers move up and kill this now. At least we've killed all the towers, though. That's the most important thing, right? Keep on popping these buffs as well. You guys should just turn and fight him because we're about to get a bunch more infantry helping out very, very soon. Let's, uh, let's continue to go back on normal speed. Yeah, the crossbows are being hit, but let's just get the crossbows back over here. can't believe this cavalry hasn't been victorious yet against these archers. They're just normal archer militia as well. Yeah, we, we desperately, desperately need some spearmen over here to tie down this general. The fighting is not going as much as, as well as I would like, honestly, over here. And the archers are still shooting. Okay, let's bring some more archers over here then. Yeah, we're actually kind of losing this fight, surprisingly. Even with all of our cavalry diving into the position. Inspiring words has now run out as well. So Lube is kind of stuck down there. We have a lot of crossbows, though. And I guess the crossbow should be shooting this. Yeah, the crossbow should definitely be shooting that. You guys can go off of normal fire. Spearmen are holding them down. That's good. Let's continue to push on this fight there. I mean, this is kind of our big victory position right here. And we have won it now. Perfect. Okay, then I think I want to get all this infantry around the side to help out and just clear out this position. The crossbows are going to be killing these guys, which is good. And now I need to try and kill some heroes because my heroes are not looking too, like, too healthy. So we just need infantry over here. Crossbows should hopefully deal with this unit. Our archers are actually out of ammunition now. And our infantry are breaking on this side, but it's really bad for me. Okay, let's try and save the archers if I can. Man, this initial assault is very brutal. Really, really brutal. And I want to kind of save the arrows on my general uh, so I can continue to push up. I'm hoping we'll get some more reinforcements at some point. Yeah, and their sentinel is acting as an absolute tank right now. Nice thing is we're breaking this general though, which is good. Archers, hold your fire. I don't want to waste that ammunition. Crossbows still have, Yeah, our crossbows have a lot of ammunition. So our crossbows can probably move into the center here and help out. This unit of archers can go on to fight. Did we win this yet? No, we didn't quite win this yet. But we've got more spearmen coming along. And some cavalry we can use to rear charge them as well. Let's bring up this unit of archers to burn down this last wall with fire arrows. That seems good with me. I should turn around and kill this general. If we kill this general, that would be huge. Oh, now we've got the rest of his infantry just formed up. Okay, so we can kind of take stock now. We need to kill these guys first. So let's move in. Do we have any more abilities we can pop off yet? Yeah, we have inspiring words, which is huge. I mean, do you have your debuff as well? You do. So that should really hurt his melee evasion. Perfect. Crossbows, just start breaking up. If you can kill the general, kill the general. Cavalry needs to get the hell back. You guys come around and help out. I, think I thought I told you guys to go around, but I guess not. And we did set fire to that. It's perfect. Okay, you get over here as well. Help kill that general. Crossbows move up and just start breaking down some damage there. Firing into that will be perfect. And now with the rest of the infantry turning up, this general should go down. Even with his roar of the, the tiger, which is going to be painful, it should be good. And we have some archers still left remaining. That's great. And we have, yeah, we have plenty of men coming back from routing as well. So I think, I think things are okay. I think, we've, I think we've got this at least initial siege. It's going to be hard to fight our way up the hill. But with the archer support we have, it should be okay. Liu Bei coming in as well. Pubbing his bonuses. Cavalry. 
That initial breach was extremely difficult. Okay, guys, chill out, chill out. No need to overextend there. No need to overextend and charge your way in. These archers burnt down that wall. So they've only got, what, a handful of towers left, but we still have our ammunition, right? Yeah, we have these archers who we can use for fire arrows to help burn down the rest of the towers. Apparently, there's still a, still a tower here or something, but I don't think there is, right? Yeah, I think we've destroyed all the towers, which is good, even though it says they kind of still own that. So let's use these crossbows to break up these defenses. I think that's a good idea. Is everything else taken care of? It is. We've killed the general, which is perfect. I'll take that. We've killed all the generals, right? So let's reform up and kind of take stock of what we have left. It's not a lot, honestly. But with the crossbows coming in, I'm sure we'll be okay. And we have a lot of this elite infantry. Yeah, the pearl dragons are still alive, which is really important. Really important. We have a handful of axes as well. The, uh, you know, a decent amount of archers as well. Crossbows are going to be breaking these dudes up. They repeated crossbows as well. I guess, actually, if I'm in range, kill the tiger leopard ca uh, cavalry, which is obviously Sal Sal's famous horseman. And let's get these spears over. I think we just try and break through. Honestly, I think we just try and break through like one breach point and then spread out. Um, so I think that's going to be the axeman job. Yeah, let's get the axes up here. You guys are going to be the ones to break through that. We'll obviously keep these generals close. The archers are going to sit kind of far back. They're not on fire at will, so that's all good. Yeah, my crossbows continue to hit. I'm going to save all the ammunition left on these archers back here because I don't want to lose them. And then we've got some cavalry still here as well, yeah. So let's just, yeah, let's just form up in the center. We're in no rush. More of this cavalry we kill the better, even though we haven't killed a single one of these horsemen yet. You guys form up. If they're going to charge me, make sure you form shield wall. Yeah, shield wall quickly, boys. That's going to give them a big boost to their stats. And they are actually going to charge in here. Okay, let's just get the crossbows back. Throwing these guys. We want to kill this cavalry like ASAP. Let's throw in our own Jade Dragon cavalry. And we need to get these spearmen over here and the rest of our cavalry. If we can, let's try and get the crossbows like on the flank so they can shoot into the side. We're in our shield walls now, which is perfect. You can see them in their shield wall. It's going to give them a great bonus to their evasion and stuff. Which is absolutely perfect. So we're using that to our advantage. If we can, we can use the crossbows. And we also have like missiles and stuff as well. Like the archers who don't have any ammunition left. We can throw in. It's just killing the rest of their horses is going to be a difficult job. But I'm sure with the, the bonus that we have, we'll keep on popping this uh, wisdom of the river. And inspiring words. And I'm hoping they'll just go down very quickly. Especially if we can get these spearmen involved in the battle as well. That'll be huge. Um, do we try and shoot into these sides? I don't want to do friendly fire. Because we really don't have a lot of men left like in all honesty. Oh, Lube isn't even here. You're here, though. Yeah, the crossbows are doing probably good enemy fire. I mean, there's still a lot we have to break up, though, right? There's still a lot we have to break up. I guess the crossbows can shoot the incoming infantry coming into support. Spearmen, make sure you kill them horses. You go and get round there. Let's try and break him. We've got Lube up here as well, so we can inspiring words him as well. That's perfect. Uh, we can, whilst we're doing this, actually, let's send for the uh, the dragon warriors of the pearl dragons and the archers down on that left hand side. Because there's actually a good breach point there, and they've obviously brought over their infantry, so we can actually come through there and look to exploit that gap. Yeah, just killing this tiger leopard cavalry is going to be really hard. Like they're just so good, and the, the amazing thing is that South South gets them from the beginning of the battle. Or the campaign, the even. Time has come. So, yeah, let's just try and push. It looks like they are bringing, they're bringing actually a lot more men back. But, so, I don't really want to use my archers. But let's, uh, let's. Uh, I mean, I guess we could just push these guys free. Because they are very good offensive units. They're bringing up more men as well. Damn, how do they have so many men left remaining? It's kind of crazy that they do. But we are making good progress. We just kind of have to bide our time. You crossbowmen definitely don't get involved in that fight. Keep on popping all of our bonuses we have. Inspiring words again. I mean, I guess this is a good idea. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're kind of sallying out everything they have. Crossbows just stay there. And just shoot anything. Yeah, it looks like they're bringing over a lot of their generals. The problem is, I just don't want to get in range of these towers here. Yeah, it looks like the range of the towers is actually pretty small. And I guess we'll attack up this way. This will probably be the easiest way to attack. Is, is Sao Sao here? I don't think he is here. 
Because this is obviously in the Battle of Redcliffe, even though it showed a picture of him here, like in the cutscene, in the Battle of Redcliffe, uh, I mean, the main assault was on his position, right? But the fire ships were, like, more round the cove, right? Round the river. So yeah, let's just use the elite dragons there. The crossbows can continue to pound this away, trying to take down as many of these axes as possible. And I think our main assault is just brute forcing our way through. Um, our generals are taking some big damage. We'll pop this debuff as well. Goddamn, strategist debuffs are so goddamn good. They really are amazing. And yeah, we'll just try and break our way through both of these positions, I guess. I'm really, like, because obviously Zhang Liao is one of the, like, amazing generals as well, so... I want to be very careful. Oh, crap. Archers. That's painful. What do we do there? Do we just ignore them or do we push on? Because this archer fire is going to really hurt. I think we actually use some of our archer fire. It seems like the AI is bringing out the majority of their soldiers to assault. Okay, so let's bring over the archers. You guys can move in now. I could probably just go and capture the city center if I'm honest. That would be funny. Uh, but yeah, let's move around now. These archers are a pain in my ass. Um, but we do actually have the missile evasion, right? With Lu, yeah, Lu Bay. So let's that'll give us missile evasion bonuses. But I am very clumped up, so we kind of need to be careful. Let's try and kill Zhang Liao because if he dies, probably the battle is won. These archers are going to come back so they can range in on them archers and just shoot them. I'm kind of going to kind of give up the ability to kill these towers just because I feel like the AI has brought all their soldiers forward. So I think we're going to have a good job of just like, if we shoot them with everything we've got, kill these archers, which we should now be in range to do so, we should be okay. Um, and I'll bring these archers actually probably just around here to keep them a bit busy. Are you guys not? No, you guys, come on. Don't get involved. And we're bringing around the Jade Dragons as well. Crossbows could even come in as well and help shoot. Like them in the side. We'll bring you guys through as well. Make sure we're constantly popping these bonuses so our men aren't taking a ridiculous amount of damage. I need to keep an eye on my generals as well. Um, in case any of them get low. I know we could duel right now, but I feel like none of my generals are really, like, in... Yeah, none of them want to duel me anyway. Why not? I feel like Zhang Liao, he's a sentinel against... I guess this is probably max level Lu Bei at this point. Um, who can be pretty... Like, in commanders at low ranks can be very, very strong. Uh, I mean, at high ranks, sorry, can be really deadly. But surely Zhang Liao is, uh, yeah, one to be messed with. They're kind of, it looks like they're retreating back some of their men there. The Dre Dragons are moving up. You guys aren't even in range. I'm really tempted. Do I shoot these guys or do I charge in my soldiers from the back? I'm unsure what we do here. Probably shoot for a little while. Just like volley out a couple shots with the repeater crossbows. And then we move up nice as well. The archers have been killed there. Perfect. Um, yeah, you need to be very careful now. Okay, you can come out of the battlefield. You've done your job. Just pull out now, my dude. We'll let the crossbows fire them in the back a little bit. Are we sh everyone shooting? Yeah, we've got a repeat to crossbows here. Just reloading the, the weapon. Seems like only a couple bolts are going out. Maybe it's because I've got infantry in the way. Yeah, I think it's because I've got infantry in the way. So let's just push in. I think with the, the pure strength of, uh, like, will of soldiers. Oh, wow. That's a huge wisdom of river there as well. Okay, the crossbows are going in now, which is perfect. The archers fighting probably isn't the best plan in the world, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you guys charge in there, and then you guys are going to come around the side. We're going to completely envelop them here. Yeah, the Glaive Infantry should slaughter, I think, from the front ranks. And then you guys come in there as well. I could actually use you guys to come help out here, but I think, obviously, if we win this battle right there, we win the day. So, probably not a bad idea to push in. Did I kill their general as well? Did Jang Liao die? Or did he just route back up? I think we might have killed him. God, I really have not been paying attention to the generals in this uh, mosh pit of battles. But I guess I did, right? Yeah, we did. We must have killed uh, Zhang Liao as well. Perfect. I was surprised there was no, like, voiceover for it or anything. But hey, we've now completely trapped them here. Perfect. They've still got some archers left, so let's bring... I mean, we can't actually bring these archers in, unfortunately, because of the towers. And then there's the last general as well. I want to make sure that we completely slaughter. We, I don't want any of these guys coming back from routing or anything. So, yeah, make sure you guys pursue in and finish them off. Oh, there's some really good axes here as well. The yellow dragon axes. These guys are re really deadly. I hope that I've given you guys enough uh, close-ups in this battle as well. Because I know, obviously, we're doing it live. So, it's quite hard to zoom in and also win the battle. But I think things are shifting in our favor now, which is good. Especially now that we've taken this out. Ready. 
Um, more spearmen, okay. Archers, volley up. I know I want to kill these towers, but... Well, that's a pretty deadly volley right then. They immediately go into lose formation. It's probably worth saving our ammunition now. Yeah, you guys hold your fire now. It seems like this is just the big old fight. The crossbows can come over there and probably hit them. We have some cavalry we, we can send up here as well. They've thrown in their last general as well. That's all good. We'll again just continue to pop our bonuses. Send some cavalry round maybe. I'm very tempted to bring these archers in now. Yeah, let's bring these archers in. What's the worst that can happen? You got a lot of them. There. Literally everyone's in their, their rank is uh, routing besides their general who is now stuck in here. They're trying to route back to the city center though and a lot of them are getting back which is a little bit annoying. Okay, yeah, crossbows shoot them. Sure, that's good. Archers, be careful. Don't get caught by them. Okay, you guys can move up this way now and take that tower because you've got no ammunition left. Why don't you put some crossbows up there as well? You guys just all clustering on there. You guys can push them down though. Yeah, uh, you guys run away if you can. Don't get caught by them spearmen. And now we can just break our way in. So it's looking like it's going to be a victory for us. Oh god, we only have... Oh wow. I did not realize we had a time limit. We only have a minute left. We're actually going to lose this because of the time limit. I didn't realize there was a time limit. No. We're going to lose this. Cavalry, go to the city center now. Everyone, I thought we were just chilling. We're going to kill their general really quickly. Um, and then the cavalry just needs to run. Oh my god, we're actually going to lose this because of the time limit. There's only a minute left. No, we're going to lose. Oh no. I, I totally didn't see this. I thought it was ticking up. Oh my god. Is there any way to kill? If we kill all the units maybe? If we kill every, every... Do they have anyone back here? Oh, they have people back here as well. No. I can't believe we lost this battle because of the time limit. I totally didn't think that there was one. That sucks so much. Everyone come. I mean, we've won the battle, right? What I'll do if the time limit does end the battle, which I'm assuming is good, it says defeat all the enemies and all capture the victory point. I just assumed that was the case. And we've literally... everyone. Wait, we've won? Yes or no? Everyone's routed, right? Who's still alive? Everyone's routed. End. Then... Pyrrhic... Oh, my God. We won that. Everyone routed at the last, like, two seconds. Ooh. That was a close battle. That was a, one, a hell of a close battle. I, I, I totally wasn't paying attention to that timer until right at the end. I'm sure you guys saw it the entire way through. That is crazy. Uh, but a Pyrrhic victory. A Pyrrhic victory. Um, Sal Sal obviously fled the battle. And you can see our infantry doing a very nice job. It was mainly our archers, though. The, the repeater crossbows seemed like they weren't really doing much, though. The repeater crossbows. Lu Bei getting over almost 300 kills. And the cavalry doing very nice as well. Man, that battle was an absolute mess. Yeah, we had seven seconds left in that battle to win. And we just managed to rout everyone. Next time, I'll be sure to pay more attention. If you guys want to see more of these replays. Um, I think if we're going to do more of these, I'll probably do the replay of them. If that's what you guys want to see. Um, but just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and a comment. And let me know what you want to see next on Total War Three Kingdoms. And fish out.